Dr. Trey Trading with Jesus Guys. This is gonna be part two of the big and the big unit I guess we bought. The storage unit did, you know, had a lot of crazy weird stuff in it, but it was cool crazy weird stuff. So you know what, we're happy. We got another half of this unit to go through. Let's hope the hidden valuables are where we think they are in the back of the unit. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. So, just moved all the other stuff out of here. Kind of a little sweaty, that was a lot of stuff. But first thing we got in here is a nice, Decent TV. I thought it was going to be heavier. So the fact that it's lighter, usually it gets dying, means it's newer. Can you see yourself in there? Yeah. Gotcha. No. But insignia TV, that's got to be close to being worth what we pay for the unit. So at this point, everything's free. Let's see what's in the giant orange bucket. No, don't. It's empty. Stop storing empty stuff. Why? <laughs> yeah, it's really empty. You know, I always store my empty buckets too. Could throw them away, but I'd rather pay to put them in a storage unit because logic, logic. Uh, let's see what's in here. Hey, that's Theo. Is that empty too? This? No, this is not empty. Now, is it the scale? I don't know. It might be a Starbucks freaking poster. No, it's the scale. It's in there, so a thinner scale. All right. Don't know what it's worth, but it's there. We also got this bag, which looks to be full of bathroom stuff lotion shampoo and conditioner just what i wanted not but you know what the valuables are still in the back i just know it so we found a kind of weird but interesting looking thingy here what is that it's not drawers for real obviously it's oh dvds boring a whole set of dvds and a whole set more of dvds but for some reason, uh, on the East Coast, we couldn't get rid of these for a dime, but out here, people buy them for like a dollar all day. So you know what? It's like a good $15 box. It's a lot easier to sell stuff out here than it ba is back in Virginia. Now, let's get the basket with what looks like a giant microwave in it out of the unit. I'm gonna balance it right here. Watch this skill. Huh. All right, so we have a giant red microwave. Ooh, I like red. So a giant red microwave. We also got, let's see, a bag, what's that? Tuscan book. Uh, what's that? That's where the gold ring's at. That's where some, another Starbucks gift card. I feel like he's the type of person that actually like collected every design. I have them on the wall. Still gotta check them. And it has a bunch of paperwork and things like that so not too great either what's up everyone hope you're having a wonderful day i'm back let's go through this trash can Ooh, trash cans oh i don't what i see on top i'm not happy with already a shower head this is what you put on a toilet so when you pee it measures it mm, smell it see what you i'm not smelling <laughs> it so yeah a shower head let's go ahead and fill this basket up because it wasn't full um more dust ease fresh scent wet cloths oh for a swiffer and the swiffers oh, cool. are here in the unit that works. So we have another swiffer all right what else we got we have some sheets and then at the bottom more uh bathroom products that's great so that's it for that um uh, what else we got with this purple tote Gold. Okay. This is a bag with one DVD. Wonder Woman. And they're in there. So that makes, gives me hope that all the other DVDs are in there. Let's see what's in this bag. This looks like it has some random stuff in there. Not much, but something. Some makeup brushes. That's empty. Some hair ties. A clip. Um, I think this is like a foot scrubber. Ooh. A comb, a few other clips. Okay, so more bathroom stuff. That's exciting. Yeah, it is very exciting. I'm happy I got this bag, actually. <laughs> Let's see, a fancy red dress. 2,500 likes, I wear it. That looks like a gown, anyway. All right, guys, there's people down there, so I have to go through some of the stuff in here. Can I point out the odds of this? <laughs> There's 500 units in here, and somebody came in here right next to us and then two units over. We drove around the parking lot just because I was like, what are the odds? 
Nobody else in here. Two people come in, the unit's right by us. Somebody give me the odd to that. Crazy. Just anyway. So frustrating. Let's finish going to do this tilt because we got to record and get out of here before they close. So, like I was saying with this one, um, there's close. I see something else down there, but it's just a book. How to grow up. So, just a book. So let's see what we have in our next tote. All right, guys, next tote right here. Let's see what we got, because all I see is clothes on top, so hopefully something interesting on the bottom. So this, why does it, why are there holes in it? I don't understand why there's holes throughout it. And I can't even read that brand right there, and I know it's dark. It's like AF, I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, bazooka, bazooka shirt. Bazooka, bazooka. You should see the age on that. There's, let's see. It's an extra one. Oh yeah. Let's um, see. Let's see a, a date on it. Let me turn it this way. That's kind of cool. Something on the back too. So, yeah, bazooka, and then it has like the oh. comic strips on the back. You can almost see it. So bazooka gang at the bottom. That's kind of cool. I don't know if Bazooka is like super collectible or not, but if it is, that shirt will probably sell easy. So at the bottom here, we just have um, more newspaper, a few more pieces of mail, which seems to be a common thing under this person's clothes for some reason. I don't know why people keep all their mail. It makes no <laughs> sense. And there's nothing else at the bottom of this one. So let's see what's in the next box. All right, so I pulled some boxes out here to get better light. So let's see what we can pull out of here. We have some sure fresh containers, which is good. I mean, we can always use these for the house. Um, other than that, there's some red cups, another vase with some tea in it. So can't use much out of there. But like I said, we'll keep those. Let's see what's in this box. Stay open flaps. All right. Let's see what's in the bubble wrap. It feels like an empty box, unfortunately. And it is an empty box. It's supposed to be Med Nor Cow Organic. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But it's why it's still taped. That's weird. But it's definitely empty. <laughs> Nothing but weird coming out of here. Why do they store this stuff? Here's a vase with two bags and trash bag in it. That's exciting. All right, this right here is brawn, and I'm assuming it's like a little food processor type thing. Maybe you chop nuts, or I think this person chopped their coffee because I think they got those bags from Starbucks and chopped those up in here. These right here both look like Starbucks mugs. Yep, been there series and you are here collection. Both pretty much brand new. I don't think they used any of these Starbucks mugs. I think we're going to have a whole horde of Starbucks mugs by the time we're done with this unit. So we have a green cutting board down here. We always use a cutting board. Is this Starbucks too? Yep. Another Starbucks mug. We have... Um, what is that? Let me set this down here. This is a moldy something. And that's nasty. The first absolute nasty thing we found in this unit and that bowl is not going to be salvageable and other than that i see a cup and a good knife down there which we'll probably keep as well so let's move this box out the way and get to the green hamper on the bottom okay let's see what we got in here we have this purple case first um our newspaper calendar, uh, mail, this looks like more so just all personal kind of paper. So we'll set this aside to take back to the front. Um, this bag right here looks like is just a bag full of bags because you gotta save your bags around here because you make your paper plastic. This right here is a good wood cutting board, super thick. Not going to ruin your countertops for sure. This right here, this is like a plastic flower vase. Um, some coffee cups. 
This it just says China on the bottom, but I mean, it's a nice bowl. And this right here, a my pillow case. All right. What do we got over here? The grill brush looks brand new. We can use that for our grill out back. And an empty thing of disinfecting wipes. And a plastic vase. So that's it for that. Let's pull out the next box. Back inside the unit, let's go through this next set of drawers. All right, so right off the bat, I see two brand new Gillette razors, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> some, some AA batteries, AAA battery, which we can always use. Keep them. Um, this is nothing, nothing. It's this little thing. It's a little cat thing. I don't know what that is. Can I see I don't, it? Yeah, it feels like it has something in it, but I don't know how to... It does. Listen. Let me see, it might screw... That's weird. ...on the bottom? It looks like it... Oh, it slides. Ooh. What is that, candy? Is it candy? Yeah, it's chocolate. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's That's chocolate. That's what I wanted. Dang it. That's boring. I wanted, like, some expensive, like, piece of jewelry or something hidden in there. Webster's Pocket Dictionary. <laughs> we have a travel straightener. Look at that. That's super small. I've never seen that before. Um, a sponge, a makeup thing, and some more paperwork. Oh, there's two, two knives here. Two pocket knives right there. We'll put this stuff back in here real quick, and then we'll get on to this stuff anymore. Victoria's Secret in there. Victoria's Secret. All right, let's see what we got here. We have, I don't know, one of those books that go in front of the CDs. This is an, a CD. Oh, cards. Ooh. Oh, is that, is that real? No way. That. No way. This that, is only the that looks second real. time I found money in a card. First time, it was in between books on like a bookshelf. Well, this unit's free now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Open the next one. 100. Oh. oh. Might be copyright music. Okay, now we gotta check every single card. Okay, let's see. Um, this is brand new thing of bicycle cards. Collectible button for the Kansas City Athletics. Sure. I think we found that already before. Let's see what this is. More um, money. Some eyeglass frames. What is this? Money. No, oh, eyeglasses. Yeah. I took everything to be money now. <laughs> everything should be money now. Oh, CD holder. He doesn't work cards. Yeah. Pictures, um, maps. Why do you have all these maps? Thumbtacks. Thumbtacks thumb spilled all over the if place. If you haven't stuck on a thumbtack, you haven't experienced pain yet. Oh, a pen. Is that a laser pointer? I see two dots on it. I, I think it was. It looks like that's what it is at the end, but. It's dead. Yeah, dead. It probably takes a watch battery though. Ooh. Ooh I like, look, there's two of them. Two door Here boxes. Yeah, 24 karat gold ring. What is that? It says 10K gold emblem. Ooh. Oh, ooh, okay, hold on. I didn't realize it was a box. Look at that. This is gold. It's a FedEx pin. Didn't we find these before? I feel like we did a long time ago. Look at that. So that's 10K gold. Nice. I wonder what that's worth. I don't know. I wonder if we got two. If it's the same Is thing. It the same thing. Please. Or if you 24 carry gold. Yeah, it just says congratulations on that. Real gold. Same thing. Yeah, 10k gold emblem FedEx. Look at that. Wow. Real gold and money. This is the best drawer yet. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do remember finding FedEx stuff like that, though. This is so strange. I feel like the last time I've had a fifty dollars bill has been a long time. I always have hundreds and twenties. The Altoid thing has a heart uh, weight type thing in it. Okay, All that's right. cool. You know, I'm gonna keep my hearts in my Altoid containers. This is a soothing scalp scalp spray, tea tree oil, um, some bubble wrap, and thumbtacks. Other than that, I mean, 50 bucks and two 10K emblems, that's a good drawer right there. That is a really good drawer. Let's get on to this last one, because now I'm excited. That's where it's thousands of dollars. I feel like I see cards, too. 
Imagine every card to open, just like 20, yeah. 50, 20, 50, 100, 25. Okay, make sure there's nothing in these Victoria's Secret bags. Those nothing cards. in that one. Nothing in here. Ooh, the Beanie Baby. I wonder if he's worth any money. Let's see. It says original Beanie Babies, but I don't think the original ones had that. Date of birth was 2003. This is Sam. Hi, Sam. How you doing? July 4th, 2003. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so let's put him back in the bag. Um, eucalyptus. Let's see what's in here. More playing cards. This is like a little Lake Tahoe set of playing cards. The place is so beautiful if you've never seen it. Very much so. And this is a little flip flop ring. Well, alright then. Okay. Um, CDs, CDs. Okay, yeah, I thought that was a card, but that's not a card. Ah, uh, that's what I thought too. Um, these are just little ministry books. Uh, these are two ornaments. Are those cards underneath? A picture? That's like an old picture. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can one of the cards. Oh, no money in that one. Come on, how many people even in one? <gasps> okay. Right, Christmas. Come on, no. no. This no. is just messed up. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Um, oh, here's another one. Oh. No. Another one. Oh, two. Nope. No. And no. Well. All right. At least so we got our money back. Let's go through this little green box. I don't know where this came from, but I'm about to go through it. Let's see. We got some pens. And. Um, pens. Pens. Oh, this. Look. Ask me if I care. The answer is usually no. Yeah. Some matches and a little magnet. That thing. Cool. All right, that's it for that. Let's see what we can find next. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go through these last three boxes. Not last three, but Jeebus is gonna go through some after me. So let's see what we got in this box. And I grabbed this knife from the drawers that I just found. So this says silverware, silverware stuff and cereal and stuff. Maybe it's silver silverware? Let's see what we got here. Okay. okay ben, when I said cereal, they meant it. Yeah, they meant little cereal. Oh, those are oranges. Okay, well, it was nothing like what was around the corner that I found. So we have some chips. We have some ew, oranges. Oh. They're oh. literally hollow. Like I feel them. They're hollow. Okay, Why so would you keep I don't this? even want to like breathe this in. So I'm just gonna close this box up. I just don't understand the logic of people. It's just not there. So that's a whole trash box right there. Let's see what's in this. Somebody so, explain this to me. This right here caught my attention because right here has a date and question marks. I'm so they now. taped it, but they didn't know what it was. We found money and then we found disgusting stuff. So it's like. Okay, it's so we have some sponges, yeah. a measuring cup, which we'll keep because uh, there's nothing really gross in here. Some oh, tea bags. Steakhouse. Unopened though. Yeah, but how long do you think it's been in there? I don't know. But I mean, it sits on the store shelf. For Let me a see while. it. I see the date. It went bad in 2018. Well, it has been open, so it's me fun. So that's a pretty uninteresting box. I guess they put a question mark on it because it's whatever. It's like it's random. random stuff. Alright, let's do this. I'm scared now. This says Z Bowls. What is Why Z? did they write the top of Dragon Ball Z's? That'd be so cool. <laughs> okay. It's actually right. Okay, so I don't see a make on the bottom of that. And so. then this right here is Royal Norfolk. All right. And they're good condition bowls. So maybe they have some value. I hope so. I know taco stack does a lot with bowls. Yeah. So I don't I don't know the price for bowls. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things. Just... All I know is that he always says Pyrex. 
So. Yeah, everyone says Pyrex. Pyrex, I know has more. Everyone's always telling me Pyrex, 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 Pyrex. So they have a 49ers hat right Gross. Here. We have, that's a robe or a blanket. A brand new lighter. Yeah, that's good for candles. Um, here's another thing full of maps. Ooh, boy, if it was 19.99, I'd be set. All like around here. It's all AAA maps like San Jose, San Leandro, Hayward, Fremont. And then lastly, a towel. Sweet. I love the assortment of objects in this <laughs> unit. I think it's your turn, Jeebus. You get to go through some boxing now. Now we're going to pull out some more boxes all the way in the back. Guys, people are finally gone. I know we probably only got five minutes until people come back. We have the hallway to ourselves again. Because uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like, normal people. This is what normal people do, right? Oh, there's people down there. And they keep going mind their bitches. But then you got those people that are like, what are, what are they doing? Excuse me. Just mind your own business. <laughs> All right. And if we're recording and you say, excuse me, you, you just interrupted the video. Oh, people get on my nerves. Just mind your business. That's the easiest life lesson. Nothing in here. What was in there? It looks like dirt. I don't want to, oh, that just came off. Thomas Kincaid. I know that's like an artist. Mm -hmm. So a couple of his books and footprints along the pathway of life. This looks like a bunch of religious stuff. And then just blank books. How to avoid love and marriage All right. and quotable women. All right. We got that. Put that okay. here. I feel like half the stuff we find, I'm like, I don't even know how to respond. I'm just like, yeah, we got that. This is a strange unit. I like these boxes. Huh? I like these boxes. Yeah, we get a lot of shipping boxes off it, so you know what? I'm not complaining. And we got all the drawers we need for storage. Nothing. I think we have a sandwich tote full of seashells. Alright. I wonder where they came from. I don't know. They're kind of cool looking. I used to do this when I was a little too. I always I love collecting seashells by the river. So a bunch of seashells. They look kind of cool. It looks like a broken unicorn horn, doesn't it? Yep. And just a bunch of stuff in there. So I guess that's what's in this box. Is there anything else in here? No, that's literally it. Just those two Christmas boxes with those weird assortment of objects in them. So I'll just pull out two more boxes. Let's see what we got. Newspaper. And box with one jacket. Is it a good jacket? It is. Dockers. Dockers. Uh, that doesn't help me. I don't know if it's I've good. heard of Dockers, but I have no idea of value. Let's hope it's expensive. They put newspaper and everything. Like, it's a jacket. It's not going to get damaged. Like, if it's <laughs> glass and stuff, I understand, but with the jacket, come on. Eh, that's really fresh. And it's taped. Oh, it's this a is a toaster. Well, I mean, like, two out of ten have been right so far, so I'll crush that. Oh, more newspaper, so the toaster is going to get damaged. Yep, yeah, that's a toaster. Alright, a toaster. That's staying in there. Let's go grab some more boxes. So, got a couple more boxes here. Let's get them open. Come on, knife, do your magic. There it goes. Let's see what we got. I just broke the number one roll of the knife. I cut <laughs> towards the sausage. That's bad. This piece doesn't want to go. I give them one thing, they got good tape. It's not that easy to break. Ooh, drumstick boxes, yes. And just, I just don't know why you keep this stuff. Yeah, Irish spring soap. Two, three bars. All I'll right. take that. But everything else? No. Yeah, no. Let's, let's set it there. We'll, we'll have to take all the stuff to the van soon anyway. Let's see here. Hope it all fits. I just did it again. I kind of keep reminding myself, away from the sausage, away from the sausage. Jesus, today. Look at this bowl. Looks like a palm tree. Came from Ross. That's not good. Morning. Lint roller, which we'll use. A bunch of soap. Look at that seashell. It's the conch shell. Can I have something to eat? No. No. <laughs> you know where that's from? Eat. I love you. No. Can I have Can something to eat? No. Can you say anything else? Try asking again. <laughs> Salt Lake City. Uh, Madonna, right? Yeah, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Madonna. And just a bunch of hand soap in there. 
nothing else too exciting in that one. So I'll set this one aside and pull out even more boxes because there's a lot of taped up boxes back there. One of them's gonna have a million dollars. Top, that's another taped up box. I like taped up boxes. See, this time I'm cutting away from the sausage. Away. This, nope, it's gonna go this way. Away. <laughs> what do we have here? Shaking hands with God. Look, is there anything in it? Oh, I saw something. What is that? That was just a bookmark. Um, pictures. This will go with the go back stuff. Ooh. And oh, there's a ring. Ooh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we see a marking in that. Not that I can see from here, but we'll definitely look when we get home. And we're being interrupted by a phone call. Phone call. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see what else we got. I used to have these from um, Ocean City, Maryland when I was little. We got uh, lens crafters, but they're in there. In here, nothing. What about down here? What's in here? Something is. <gasps> It's a piece of plastic, yes! Oh, just what I wanted. And... I hate to be the favor of bad news, but... I think that is all that is in this unit. Or this box, not the unit. We have more, a little bit more to go. So we just pulled this blue bag out. It's full of a lot of personal stuff that we don't want to show on video, but we did pull out a Garmin. It looked like a GPS to me. In it, so I don't know how much these go for. I know Tom Toms used to be pretty expensive. That was also before GPS is on everybody's phone in the world, so <laughs> I don't know how useful they are anymore, but I think they'll still sell, hopefully. So literally, you can look in there. The rest of the unit is pretty much closed and a lot of recyclable, since a lot of people save them out here because they do give you like a nickel or dime, whatever it is, per bottle of can. So that's why they're doing that, but we did find this back there, a master fishing pole, which seems to be brand new. It has a one-year warranty on it too, as you can see. So nice fishing pole, I hope. It might be a cheap one now, but everything else in there, like we said, it's clothes and like, there's just bottles and bottles and bottles because they recycle them for money. So nothing else too interested in there. So we'll load the van up, take everything home, go through it, and then do a big recap and let you know all the good things we got out of it. So see you then. Guys, I think that's about as close as it gets. Look at that. You can't really see through the tented windows, but let me just open the door. Yeah. It's about as close as it gets, but everything fit in there. I'm so happy right now. All right, guys, now that we're home, let's do a recap on some of the more interesting finds in this unit. So, which side should we start on? I'll start on my side. All right. got a little bit going on over there. Just so, a little bit. <laughs> I found the remote. This is a remote to the TV, but I didn't want to bring the whole TV in here. TV does work, so I mean, we'll probably easy sell either locally or at the flea market. Um, how much would you think for the TV? Like 50 bucks? 30, 50, something like something that. Something like that. So, this self defense flashlight, you guys saw it work in the video, but let me. Do it one more time, and it also has a flashlight right there. So I love that thing. We should bring this to the auction just in case someone messes with us. We'll be like, Yeah, you can see inside I'm the unit. I'm just looking inside the unit, but stay away my unit. You know, when people get too close to you and you're trying to look <laughs> and they get in front of you, I'm just gonna hit the taser button. And yeah. the charger is in there, so this is this that's is not being sold. Yeah, the key. So this Pyrex bowl, I want you guys to help me out a little bit with this because we don't know anything about Pyrex. But on the bottom, it says, sorry, I'm trying to read it because there's a glare. 403, two and a half quart to 2.5. Um, and then here's the design on it because I know the design matters. Uh, a few chips, but I don't know if that is, I mean, like a few chips in the paint, but I don't know if that's just how it's made. And I mean, overall, inside's pretty clean. So help me out with that. If you can look it up, I mean, just let us know a price in the comments. They range from seven all the way to like thirty-seven dollars a bowl, so I have no idea. All right, so this right here on top is the jewelry that was in. Let me show you the jewelry box because I'm probably gonna sell the jewelry box by itself too, because uh, it's a pretty nice jewelry box. But the three pieces that were in there, this is obviously fake. It's just a rosary, so I mean, I'll probably just put this in the costume jewelry box once we make one, and then these two. This had the cross at the end, and then this one was just a gold, like, snake-looking chain. Um, but I don't see any markings on these, 
so I'm assuming they're fake but again I, I'm not sure this one right here says Germany on the top oops and I don't see anything on this one so that's the jewelry and then with mugs I don't most of the mugs that I usually see I just put in a flea market because I know a lot of people like glassware for some reason um, I'm not personally into it but <laughs> they like it dark sales. Um, so the only reason I set this one aside is because it has a print of a piece of artwork done by Whistler and I remember seeing Whistler artwork on Pawn Stars so I know mm -hmm. it's a well-known artist and it says Cafe Arts, um, Henriksen Imports, Corte Madeira, California on the bottom. So I don't know what this would go for. Again, if you can help us with any of this stuff, just comment and let us know. Um, and then this one, I think I just kept because it said Pete's Coffee. And I don't know if they're mm -hmm. as collectible as Starbucks. So that's the only reason I kept that one. So Starbucks surprised me. Like we looked the mugs up on eBay and for some reason, I guess people are really coffee fanatics out there. Some of the Starbucks mugs are $5 and some of them as high as like $15 for a single mug. Well, Starbucks is Starbucks. I think new some of their mugs go for like 20 I hate Starbucks, sorry. I hate coffee and I hate Starbucks and I hate like the obsession people have with Starbucks. And <laughs> back home in the East, they're like taking over all my favorite places. There's like six Starbucks in every like square mile radius. Gosh, I'm like, why do you they, need so many? They replaced a Checkers. A Checkers. With a Starbucks. Not just a Starbucks. There's, There's a Starbucks, a standalone right one across the, the street. street. And one in the grocery store across the street. There's like three within like walking distance. It's ridiculous. I hate Starbucks. Whatever. Ridiculous. We have these cool colored mugs here. It's a set of three. There's like this tan one. There's this orange one. Fall colors. And this brown one. They all look like a set because they have the same exact design, just different colors. Then you got this Starbucks mug, which is, let's see, a 2001. So it's actually a little bit older, 18 years old. Starbucks mug and what we'll probably do I might list all these just a lot because somebody's interested in Starbucks I'll probably buy them all so we might put them all as a lot on eBay but speaking of eBay we finally got like a bunch of stuff listed I put a community post out and put it on Facebook but just in case you guys don't get those notifications the link now will be in the description for eBay and Poshmark because we've been updating them a lot we were working for like two or three hours last night putting a bunch of stuff on there so there's a bunch of stuff on eBay and stuff getting up on Poshmark too. So for those of you guys that ask us 24-7, it's up now. And if you haven't signed up for Poshmark yet, if you don't have an account, when you sign up, I'm pretty sure there's a referral code box when you do sign up. Mm -hmm. Put Jeebus underscore treasures as your referral name. We get five bucks and you get five bucks if you buy something. So do that. Who doesn't like free money? Free five dollars. So we got that one. Mm -hmm. We got this Starbucks mug here, and it says, You Are Here Collection. This one's from 2012, but just another Starbucks mug. This is another one, Been There series from 2017. So this one's more new than the other ones. <laughs> then you got this one, another Starbucks mug from 2008. So this one's about 11 years old. And then we got the orange, painty, flowery looking one here. And this one's from 2008 as well, so another 11-year-old mug. These ones, I don't even know if they're collectible, but like it looks like they're cut, but it's glass. So I think they're called tumblers. Yeah, I don't know and if it's like collectible, but yeah, I don't know. It's glass, so that's the only reason I said this side. It's only from 2016, so it's only about three years old, so we'll see. And then you got this American flag one, which is also from Starbucks, but it does have a $10 price tag on this one. So I don't know if this one's really collectible, but why not? It was Starbucks. Let's put everything Starbucks in a pile. <laughs> And this one doesn't even have a date or tag on it. Oh yeah, it does. Starbucks released uh, 2003. Yeah, so this is 16 years old. That's kind of cool. Somebody might want that. Yep. Now, the two things we didn't see in the video, but we also found in the unit, were two rings. They're both Mark 925 Sterling Silver, and it's gonna be really hard to get a good close-up shot on these because it's, you know, they're tiny. But this one has like a pink gem in it, and I said again, they're both Mark 925, so they're both sterling silver. I'm getting up. You're going to get up? Yeah, all I'll right. put them up to the camera. So we're keeping all our silver jewelry in a pile until we get enough to like get a real lot on eBay. Because silver jewelry is obviously not worth nowhere near as much as gold is, but then again, it's still a precious metal. It still has value. So we're thinking once we get like seven to ten different silver pieces, we'll list them on eBay. I think we're up to like four or five right now. So the more silver we find, we'll list them up on eBay. And right. yeah, they look good. So no, we also got those are literally under a flap, along with 
three other fake rings that I checked while I was out there too, but under a flap of a cardboard box. Wow. So we would have never seen it in the video. Mm -hmm. So we got the Garmin GPS here. I didn't even look this up to be honest with you. I think it's like five to ten dollars because like I said in the Jesus. video, yeah, everybody's got GPS on their phone now. I guess if you're a trucker or something, you don't want to have to look at your phone. I can see why you might need it, but other than that, I don't see a real use for it. Another broken phone, I'll say I feel like a broken record, but I always want to say this because I never know if this is the first time somebody's watching our videos. These crappy phones that are worth nothing on their own, lock them up until you get about 15 or 20 of them, sell them on eBay. People that repair phones will buy them for parts. You'll get 100 bucks easy for a bunch of phones, even if they're crappy ones like this. And now probably the best thing besides the actual money that came out of the internet <laughs> are these two little FedEx 10 karat gold emblems. So this one's a three year pen it says. And it's a little, really tiny, 10 karat gold, but the thing is they sell for like 25 to 30 bucks a piece on eBay, so it's about $60 just in the, those two little things. And we only paid 50 for the unit, and we've literally got the 50 back, so this is just all free stuff, the way I'm looking at it. And this one is, let's see, one year. So they, I guess FedEx gives these to their employees for driving safe after a certain number of years, but <laughs> this one's for driving safe for one year, and the other one's driving safe for three years. I guess the second year they, Really kind of bad. I don't know. <laughs> we didn't find a three, a two year one, but we got the one year one and we got the three one. So that's about 60 bucks in gold. Think about it. We paid 50 bucks for a unit. We literally found cash, gold, and silver. Yeah. That's, that's a good unit for 50 bucks. You know, that's a good unit. Along with a bunch of collectibles here and possibly more gold, even though it's not marked, but I don't know. It just, it looks real to me. Yeah. Not the one with the cross, the other one. The other one looks real to me. So we'll definitely get it checked out before we take it anywhere or sell it. But overall, I think it's a good unit. We'll probably end up with like four or five hundred dollars worth of stuff off a fifty dollar unit or off a free unit in reality because it was free. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunt videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're gonna be on screen. Click the links down in the description below and make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.